Project Workbench. You know, the other thing, I was talking to Michael Westmore the other day, we were talking about apprenticeships and editing and then makeup. They don't have interns anymore. There are some more internships. No more apprenticeships. You just hmm. get lucky. You hmm. know, come on board. It's, uh, we've lost 50% of the business, you know. And, uh, really? Oh, yeah. To, to other countries? like to Other Canada, countries Australia? and other states. Are we wow. on? Yes. Because I'll tell you, the um, zombies have become very big. Yes, it's a big thing. You know, uh, and they shot, you know, Scott Wilson, a very fine actor, hell of an actor. He's uh, doing one of those in uh, Georgia. You know, he did Cold Blood and Cold Blood and stuff like that. And The Heat of the Night, uh, which uh, was Steiger won an Academy Award. So he, and he did a lot of theater. Um, but they, I was down when we were in Louisiana. Uh, there were some people in the Tennessee Williams thing that had also done quite a few films in that area. They give 35% and they're trying to squash it, but all of the film companies that are shooting there get the senators and the councilmen to come sure. on location and say, half a dozen drivers from your community, we buy food over there, we do this, we do that. Even New York, New York, New York used to be the most expensive. And the guy that got that all sorted out was Mel Brooks because he was going to shoot in Toronto. And uh, the producers, blah, blah, they gave him a deal and they brought the price. Everybody, even the actors, like all the actors on those... Um, uh, law and order things all took a 15% cut rather than come to LA. Huh. So everybody cooperates. So uh, five years ago, no, even three years ago, they had like five series. New York City is shooting 23 series. <laughs> That's great. So an actor, that means a particular series, if you're only doing a day's work, because they, what they do now, like the part I'm doing, they jam it all into one day, which is all right. You know, they jam it all into one day. You used to work through it and you'd get maybe, you know, a little more sugar at the end. But they jam it into one day. But the thing about the more shows in New York, if you only can do one show, that gives an opportunity to the theater actor that he might up end, end, end up doing 10 shows a year, which he wants to do, because that's his pension and his health. Because the worst thing about the business leaving here is that people can no longer get enough money for the pension and health. Mm -hmm. When I started, there were three networks, so you've got fat residuals, cable, boom. So if you made a thousand bucks, the producer had to send in a hundred. If you make a hundred bucks, they send in ten. And now they have thresholds for pension and thresholds for health care. And health care is through the roof. So they go to right to work states. Mm -hmm. And here, I, I voted for Schwarzenegger. I did his first movie with him. Uh, it was called Hercules Goes Bananas. And he had to dub his voice, and uh, you know, he couldn't speak. He was a great guy. I liked him. But that's the American dream, what he did. Sure. And I voted for him because I thought he was going to help with the tax incentive mm. here. And I thought he could, you know, it's not easy to drive anything through any kind of Senate or any kind of House, be it national or local. It's a very, very difficult thing. Sure. Because everybody has their thing going. And it's the same as showbiz, the studios. You know, there's a whole pecking order about how you get things done. But uh, the only way um, to get the money back here is to find a tax incentive. And now the independent films have been hurt that were creating a lot of work for people. So we've lost a tremendous amount of work. So you find people in mid-career who have done well professionally in all, I'm talking about wardrobe, makeup, who have put money into the community through their work and actors who find themselves in their 50s and they cannot make enough money to pay the mortgage or to get health benefits. You know, even my, my first union was the theater union, Access Equity Association. And when I started making enough money, uh, my health covered my wife and my kids. But slowly over the years that eroded because of the income that was coming in. The theater, it was affordable at one time. But it, it's just gone, uh, gone out of sight how much it costs to produce a play or a film. First of all, it dropped the children, then it dropped the wife. And now when you work in equity, you're the only one that's covered. Hmm. And then after, you have to make a certain amount of money to even reach the threshold. Then you have to pay in. SAG is the only one now where you pay in a modest amount. 